Baseball is on the air. Today it's Grapefruit League action between the Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies. for some daytime baseball. First pitch on its way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Skied into straightaway right. Williams moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Jeffrey Into the box now, Beattie. Jeffrey Beatty, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Herrera on the run. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping up now, Delman Smith. He'll get to take his first Smith. cuts here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Williams is camped under this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Yankees retired on just four pitches. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Now at the plate, Odubel Herrera. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Phillies. Center fielder, Odubel Herrera. First pitch of the at bat. There's a strike. Dear a swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Count. Oh, two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. That second. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it right there. Three fastballs in a row. He gone. Up next will be Nick Williams. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Ball one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters that is to is set third. the middle of the order up second with an one. opportunity to do some second damage. Off. So when Turn you strike ended. both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And that misses ball one. Back to back punch outs in the bottom of the first. This guy has got his stuff working today. This Three. offense better wake up. One and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More spring training baseball from Florida following this. Settling in now, Eddie Gunn. He'll start things out against Jared Eikhoff as this inning gets underway. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Line towards center field. And the Yankees have their first hit of the ball game. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. I got to be honest, I'm shocked he went back to this pitch again. First one, he was on it and fouled it off. Second one, he did not miss. Here comes the first pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Hoskins is there. 
looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Stepping up to the plate, Craig Locke. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He's set. Here it comes. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Rosales relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. So 1-1 one, one home. Popped him up. Block is under it. One away. That ain't bad. So now Carlos play. Santana. Carlo. Ready Santana. with the first pitch. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Santana is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Cameron, now to the plate, Cameron Ruff will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Fouled away. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing nothing. Now at the plate, Lee Brandon. Leading off of the game. Third baseman, Lee. Here's the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Check the swing there and pops this one up. Franco is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, John Van. Van. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted into center field. Herrera's there. He's got it, and there are two down now. At the plate, Guy Cormier. First pitch of the at bat. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. With two outs, they're not playing him to bun here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says the third base umpire, Patrick Johnson. It's ball one. down the left field line and deep and it in fact lands in the corner foul he'll try again one two line towards center field Herrera is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side one two three go the bombers home half of the third coming up no score Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskirgen, as Michael Franco right, gets set to start out the inning. Mike. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound.
First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Clark is there and he makes the catch for the out. So next to the plate for the Phils, Adam Rosales. Adam. First pitch on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And that one just missed outside. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Now the 2 1. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but. Then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Aaron Nola will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tracy Hayward. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. A solo shot here to left as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. Now Into the box now. Jeffrey Beattie. Jeffrey Beattie. Swing and a liner. Foul. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The wind up and the 0 1. Soft liner to the right side that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. In now, Delman Smith. And a swing, and here's another big drive as this ball sent high and deep to left center field. And the long ball will burn him for the second time in the inning. Another home run. So a two-run shot to left center as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Now back into the box Eddie Gunn. Eddie Gunn. Oh there it goes in the air to left center and you can forget about this one back to back home runs. Well when a manager talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off, and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more focused. The next thing you know, you've got three home runs in an inning, and your entire offense is off and running. Down the left field line and deep. And it, in fact, lands in the corner. Foul comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first, but no problem at first, and that's the now first down. Craig Standing Locke. in, Craig Locke. 
first offering on its way. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Hard ground ball to third. There is Franco. And there's out number two. Now back. There's Mason. Into the box now. Brandon. Lee Brandon. First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped him up. Santana has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera, back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Grounded to the right. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Right, Up next will be Nick five. Williams. 0 for 1 for him here in this oh. one. Here's the first pitch to him. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 and 0. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Hit hard to the right. Power. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Outside for a ball, one and one. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail here. Zach Eflin, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Stepping in, John Pham. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted in the air out to right. Williams is under it. Makes the play one away. So here now is the pitcher, Guy Cormier. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Stepping in now. Tracy Hayward hit high and deep to right center. Chasing after it is Herrera, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Throw to third, but he's in there. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. That could prove to be a big run in this one, guys. Well, this triple brings in another run, and if they don't stop the bleeding quick and start answering back, they're going to have a hill too steep to climb.
Into the box now, Jeffrey Beatty as he grounds one briskly to short. Rosales comes up with it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Ready to take his hacks again, Delman Smith, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Last half of the fifth coming up, the Yankees lead it. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Leading Reese Hoskins. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss oh, way man. behind the big fastball. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fastball down near the shoe tops. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Here's Carlos Santana now. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses strike two. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Still a little early to start talking oh, about these things. Down. There you go, Cameron. right there. A big Cameron. goose egg in that hit column. Rock. Worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. So digging in now, Cameron Ruff. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right over the middle, knee high. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. He's been very economical with his pitches, and if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Jake Thompson gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Digging in once again, Eddie Gunn. Already two for two. we will look to add on right here. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Herrera is there, and he has it for the first out. The batter. Right Stepping into the box, Matt Clark. Clark, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First delivery to him on the way. Ground ball right into the shift. And there are two away now. Now batting. now batting, Craig Locke. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Well, it's only spring training, but this is the kind of swing that makes you anxious for the season to start. Track the ball all the way and just exploded on it for a homer. He looks ready. Standing in now, Lee Brandon. 
as he rips it on the ground to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box, John Van down the third baseline. Franco has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run through five and a half. It's the Yankees seven and the Phillies nothing. Striding in once again, Michael Franco. He flew out. His last at bat, Tony Correa is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new short stop here. And now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Number 99, Tony Correa. Ready. Here's the first offering. A high fastball is in there. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. It's a solo shot here for Mike Franco. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Stepping in now, Adam Rosales. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Popped him up. Van moving to his left. One out. Tommy You're Joseph right. will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 19, Tommy First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Joseph playing here in his age 26 season. He's in his third season as a major league player. Backhanded. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. You know, Dero as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try and go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. So he got him swinging. Odubel Herrera goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he takes a cold strike one. Hit hard to the right. Foul. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Phillies get one in the frame, courtesy of this solo home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh. It's now seven to one. Ricardo Pinto comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Stepping into the box, Guy Cormier, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Petter, Guy Cormier. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive to left. 
Hoskins is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. At the plate, Tracy Hayward. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Bases are empty. One man out. Fly ball out toward left center field. Herrera on the run, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Now batting. So striding forward now, Jeffrey Beattie. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Ready for another shot now, Delman Smith. Smith. First pitch coming, here it is. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. And he will make it around as he gets in there at third on what was a terrible throw. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with a double. In now, Eddie Gunn. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a three-run shot to left center, his second home run of the game, as this lead got even wider. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty V, how about this, D. Rowe? If you come to watch off to right field and absolutely hammered, forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they just continue to pour it on here. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back-to-back -back homers. But there is a need for short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. Standing in now, Tony Correa. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants no, up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Into the box now, Lee Brandon. As yes, he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field, that's a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. It's a nice job by the batter no right there. Able to fight off a high fastball and slap it the other way for a single. Stepping in now, John Van. Here's a swing and oh man! Way out of here. So a three run blast to deep center here as the blowout continues. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Yeah, Matt, you know what, d -Roll, we got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game, but boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better in the daytime than they do at night. 
case in point today. The ball was jumping 20. off the bats of both lineups. Ah, Drew Anderson enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Swing and another one deep out to center field. Ranging back is Herrera. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. So it's a solo shot to dead center as this lead got even wider. Into the box, Tracy Hayward. Oh, could it be three in a row? Hoskins looks up. Gone! You got to be kidding me. Back to back to back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, this is amazing right here. Three home runs in a row. I've actually been a part of a similar situation sandwiched in between Raphael Fercal and Gary Sheffield back in the early 2000s. What a moment. All the boys are going Not nuts. Bad. For three the guys to do it, it's pretty Jeffrey. special. In now, Jeffrey Beatty Hernandez is calling for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for the game. Ready once again, Delman Smith. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped up. Hernandez is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. But not. Aaron Altair is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Aaron. as he assumes duties in center Number field. Center field. Number 17, Bill Kirchner. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Zero. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. And now pitch on the way. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1 and 2 now. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. Jorge Alfaro move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one. is strike two swinging. I got to count one and two. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. 2 0 now. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Outside, 3 0 now. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked the soul, but we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Andrew Knapp will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. And he struck him out 16 for the ball game, and the inning is over. Aaron Altair will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Jorge Alfaro will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. 
Andrew Knapp. Will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Ryan Flaherty is into the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Digging in now, Phil Kirshner, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Here's the first pitch to him. Now Check swing and a pop-up now to the left side. And he'll fight off the Grapefruit League sky here as he takes this one in for route number one. Danny Ortiz is also into the ball game as he'll assume duties in left field. Now in left field, number 60. Digging in the switch hitter, Matt Clark. will swing it from the left side right here. Yeah, in this last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A-B to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Herrera there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Striding in, Tony Correa. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again. Michael Franco comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. It doesn't look very promising so far. This one as we move into the later innings, down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. And he misses with it 1 and 1. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Two two one more time. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Coming to the plate now, Adam Rosales. He struck out and popped out in his two previous trips. Strike one to start the at bat. Fly ball right down the line and left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Will Middlebrooks will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 12. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We've played eight full. The Yankees are out in front, 17 to 1. Francisco Rodriguez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Digging in, Lee Brandon. He's two for four in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. Makes the play one away. Now with the play, John Van. He's one for four for the game. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. First pitch of the at bat. Now a big swing, and this ball is crushed. Forget it, long gone home run. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second home run of the game as the blowout continues. The pitcher, number 25, Guy Cormier. Into the box now, Guy Cormier fouled off. One out, nobody on.
Now this ball's hit out to deep left center. Ranging back is Herrera at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he is in to third base with a triple. His third hit this afternoon. How about it? Man, he's wishing right now this game could go on forever, or, or at least until he can get up again, because otherwise that is probably his last at bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. So coming to the plate, Tracy Hayward, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Chasing after it is Herrera, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And the run is in to score from third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. Stepping in now, Jeffrey Beatty, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. Lifted in the air out to center field. Herrera on the run. And he makes the play but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. In to score the runner from third. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Now in the box, Delman Smith. First pitch on its way. This one's down to third. Oh, look at Bronco. He gathers the throw. And give it up on a phenomenal play to retire. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a 3-1 count. If you have a chance to do some damage, you know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. In there, and it's 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a strike. Is that gun reading right, right there? Because that just registered at 91 miles an hour on a slider. If he's working that pitch, that's most guys' fastballs. It's going to be a long game. So he got him swinging. Nick Williams goes quietly, and they've got only one out left. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you could have. Pedro Florimon is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. And this ball swung on and hit to center field and this should do it. Kirshner is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Wow, talk about the total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball is 20 to 1 the final today. The New York Yankees with a big total of 22 hits.
Guy Cormier is the winning pitcher of record. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.